at the moment, rugby's the product instead of the player. So like the clubs are having a significantly bigger impact on everyone than we are. But no, I understand what you're saying, but I think that's probably whether or not rugby wants to go down that route. From in the academy, you're taught to be um, humble and not stand out and be eccentric and stuff like that. It's changing slightly. I think we've seen a big, big swing, but ultimately the roots of, of the sport, are, the foundation, should I say, are reasonably stuck in, stuck in their ways. So until we change a few people, I'd say, at the top, but then obviously change demographic at the bottom, I don't, I don't see how we could possibly do that. There's some people in rugby who probably have that, Dennis, well, I know there are, who have that sort of personality, party personality, dye their hair and all that sort of stuff. And Do we hear enough about them? A bit crazy, probably not, but do we want to know about them? Do you know Why what wouldn't I mean? we? Well, or in, do you think people aren't ready for it? or they're people... well, Yeah, I think people would frown upon it in, in our sport. Um, you faced that? Have you faced a lot of that yourself, do you think? I did in my early years. I, I don't really care now. So I'd say you probably get a, a 95% of purely what I'm about. And then, of course, you have to play the game a little bit and you can't say everything you want because of everything that goes on in the world. But yeah, I, I, I've probably cleansed myself now. So.